Hi, my name is Miranda Stanglin, and I'm a mathematician, and this is a little bit on how to do ratios for middle school math. Basically what a ratio is, is a way of comparing two variables and representing them numerically. For example, we're going to take cats and dogs in Los Angeles. If we took the example that for every two cats, there were three dogs, we're going to represent those with C's and D's. So for every two cats, there exist three dogs. As a ratio, what I do is I just count the number of C's, two, count the number of dogs, three, and I put the one that comes first on top, so I get this ratio of two to three. The nice thing about having a ratio is you can do what's called extrapolation, which is just a fancy term for predicting a future value. So if I know that over the next two months, the ratio is going to increase by two, what I simply do is multiply my original ratio by the number two. So I can say that two months from now, there will be four cats for every six dogs. The other thing that we can do with ratios is create an equation and predict a value. If I'm given the problem that my ratio is two to three, representing cats and dogs, and I know that the given information is 12 dogs, I can put 12 where the D goes, and I wanna figure out how many cats there are. So I let X represent that number. So I just solve this equation here, I cross multiply. So I get two times 12 is equal to three X. I solve for X by dividing by three, and I get X equals eight. So this has been a little bit on representing ratios for middle school math.